Who do we got on deck today? Well, I see a Bobby Lashley, I see a Hulkster, Jeff, Undertaker, Ultimate Warrior, almost coming back. All right, let's get it, buddies. Hey, it's Wrestling Hero Figs. We're doing them fix-ups, man. We just got some brand new WWE Ultimate Edition figures. So I wanted to convert some of my current roster guys into the UE lineup. And who better to do it with than your boy Bobby Lashley and Ezekiel. That's right. We are going to use Mr. T to come up and be like, yo, what's up, man? Yo, is it okay if we get you all converted for Ultimate Edition? Well, of course we can, man. So I want to get Bobby Lashley into the fodder parts that we will have over here. Obviously, head swappies will be required. We will also have to remove these knee pads because I actually don't ever recall Bobby Lashley wearing these knee pads. And actually, if you go back, not the attire that he was wearing on Monday Night Raw, because on Monday, he had more of a mixture of a red and black. But if you go back to, like, let's say two pay-per-views back, he did have the solid red. So I think this is going to work really good. Plus the fact that we got a huge frame over here with Mr. T. So it's going to work out pretty good. If it doesn't, well, you know what? You still stop by, and that's all we can ask. And if you guys do enjoy these kinds of videos, drop a like. If you think that Mattel needs to give us a Ezekiel. Some may call him Elias, but we all know deep down inside, it's actually not Elias, you guys. To be quite honest, this is what happened, right? Him, his brother, they were coming up. He says, you know what? I'm going to try WWE. So Elias, he brings his guitar and all that other nonsense that he used to sing. But this go around, I mean, he's got clean cut. He's got fresh face. And he's actually coming out looking like the ultimate warrior. So I was like, let's see. We get Ultimate Warrior, and I want to give a shout out to Muscle Bro, because I did reach out to him, and I was like, dude, what do you think is going to be the best head scan? Now keep in mind, we still got to do a little bit more, and it is all going to happen in this video, so stay tuned to the end of the video, because we got to add the hair. We got to do lots of stuff. I got a two different options that I'm going to throw out there. Now for the head scan right here, yeah, I ain't going to tell you. I'm sure some of you may already know in the comments. I will tell you, but it's going to happen after we've already made the conversion with the hair piece. One of two things. We can either a, use the edge, which I actually already ripped off the freaking figure off it. So this hairpiece should work pretty good. We could slip it on there to give it more of that Ezekiel look. Or we got option B right here with Brian Pillman. Now, the reason why I like Brian Pillman's hair is because, one, it kind of has like that frizz, right? That kind of style that Ezekiel has. That works really good. But the reason why I like the edge hair is because it has more of the hair tucked back in the front. And I think for the likeness, this should play out really good. So I'm going to try both of them. And I want you guys to tell me in the comments, too. Because, again, both of them are great options. Both of them have the right height. But it's all in how it's going to come out once it's all done up. So, yes. We're going to do that right here in this video. Bobby Lashley, let's move you to the side. Ezekiel, you as well. You guys are going to get the conversion here in just a sec. But I also want to talk about Jeff Hardy. Now, if you guys did see the most recent pre-orders that did go live, it was the next series with Roman Reigns and Jeff Hardy. You guys already know, man. Discount code HERO. Hit that link in the description below if you want to save 10% on the upcoming Jeff, which is crazy too because, again, it's WWE, yet the man. He's over here in AEW with Matt Hardy. He says, delete, delete. Delete. We got to delete this figure. So what we're going to do is that, if you guys recall, some of the images that have been shown and has been confirmed already by Action Figure Attack is that he is going to have the white pants with this style of hair. So I want to go ahead and mix that around, kind of give you an early sneak peek of what we're going to be getting with that series, as well as the sleeves. These right here with the black and white mixture, all three of these figures are going to be brought all together so we can get the closest likeness as to what we're going to see with that upcoming Elite Series, Ultimate Edition Series 14. Now, now, almost, I know there were some of you guys asking in the comments last go-around as to what jacket I ended up using for that basic. Well, unfortunately, it had sold out, you guys, so I, unfortunately, I couldn't put the link in the description, but... On a brighter note, this one right here is actually going to work out really good too. And this one is not sold out. You can actually find this on eBay. You can actually find it in your Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle collection. And all you got to do is get that one. I think it was a two-pack. It was with him and I believe Casey Jones. And I think it was Raphael that ended up coming with this trench coat. And I was like, dude, this is perfect for almost. Come on. You couldn't have asked for a better figure. Yeah, TNMT Turtles, they're usually about what? 
five foot and a half, give or take. We got almost at seven foot four, but almost is based off a Mattel figure and that NECA, well, they're scaled up a little bit taller. So that should work really good. So if you guys want more of that look, you can do so. Now, one man that I could not wait on is your boy X-Pac. You guys know that the upcoming Legends line, he's already scheduled. WXF had posted this in his stories and I was like, dude, this is beautiful. What better way to bring him into an early state so we don't got to play the waiting game? So, of course, we grab some of the parts, right? We grab the pants from the Road Dog. You could use Billy or Triple H, whatever, the shirt too. That'll be if you pick up end up like getting two doubles because I know they're going to be put on clearance soon. So this is just something you could do. And then this right here, this is a nice little addition that I saw right there by WXF. And this is basically that JBL Elite that we did get. So if you kind of want to give it that true likeness that he, wore, that he wore that night when they invaded WCW, this is going to be the closest thing. Now, getting into The Undertaker, you guys, this is the one that we've been talking about. We've already done two different conversions. We already did the tights with, uh, you know, the shirtless look. And we also did, like, the American Badass theme with a different look. But now... We need the short hair, and this is going to be sick. This is really cool because it's actually kind of funny. The way that this played out, right, this whole video, it's kind of all tying in together and not even in like a whole scheduled time frame. This ended up coming in the same two-pack that we got with Jeff Hardy. So this head scan that you're seeing over here on this Elite that we're going to be using for that Ultimate Edition, that's good. it's going to be the same Undertaker. So if you guys are curious, like, dude, that head scan is insane, and it is, you guys. This is that two-pack. This is the only time that we got this in all Ultimate Edition. We got it, or sorry, not in Ultimate Edition, but in the True FX. We got it before, but it didn't have this exact same look. So I want to get that converted over here with this style of body, right? The whole shirtless with the short hair. I've seen it on Instagram on a few pages, and you know what? I was like, it's game time, you guys. And if I can't remember for the life of me, go in the comments. Let me know if that's you, my guy, because this one right here, it's going to be beautiful once it gets brought over with the shirtless theme. Now, I know you guys are wondering, like, dude, what the hell you got over here? You got the Riddler. You got some DC figures with some Mattel. Well, I'll tell you what. Rollins, boy, he wants to bring the green, right? He's brought all kinds. He's brought red. He's brought bright blue. He brings all the extravagant gears. And I would say out of all the figures in my action figure collection display, this is the closest likeness that we have to your boy Rollins right here within this style. Now, I do have a backup plan because obviously this is DC, so the neck peg, it might not play out. If it don't, I got something else, man. I got Razul, and I probably said it wrong, but we're going to play out some different options right here with our DC as well as MCU. No, that's not MCU here, fake. All right, let's get to the Hulkster and see if we can get the WHF army to run wild, right? So we got all Ultimate Edition Hogan in the early days. And the first one that came to mind was the early, well, either Ringside Exclusive or Storm Collectibles. Because Mattel, this is the first time that we're getting the Hulkster with the full-on hair. Obviously, it's not full-on, but it's the closest thing that the man got. So instead of get, having that huge bowl cut up top, he's got more going on. And we got it over here, so I wanted to play out. I really liked with the eyes all BD open, the way that we got it over here. But I'm not sure if we're going to be able to convert it. Because I've had issues anytime that I've done Storm Collectibles head swaps usually the neck peg comes along with so instead we got some backup my friends don't you worry about a damn thing because i said as i did mention ringside did put out this figure so i want to try it on at least on the metal i do think that truly the skin tone would match better on the actual storm collectibles but we got to try it on anyways man so we're gonna do we're gonna get the rollins we're gonna get the jeff hardy we're gonna get mad hardy we got a last undertaker of course man we got to do that head swap you got to do the shirtless we got tons you guys we got a lot going on and this hair piece we got to get it figured out. So I say we go ahead, bring these to the bench, get them working, get this going. Let's go, my friends. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. Yeah, here we have Bobby Lashley officially in Ultimate Edition. And this might take up to Series 20 before we actually see him in this lineup. So I said, you know what? I'm not waiting around. No way. Mr. T had the closest look to what we're going to be getting right here with that. So I was like, yeah, why not? Now, keep in mind, there is still a couple more things. We already did remove off the knee pads. So you got that full-on red theme. And here's a quick side-by-side -side if you guys were wondering, like, as to how he looks with the actual Elite height. Yeah. Yeah, right there, almost identical. I'm not seeing any significant differences. Obviously, the ribbed torso would work out a little bit better. Like, let's say his chest had a little bit more cuts. Like, this still works out really good. I'm seeing a lot of Bobby Lashley in here. But if you look at his elite, you can kind of see where we're going with the arms. They are appropriate. Matter of fact, I think that they are the exact same arms that we did get with it. But nonetheless, you guys, this looks 
Beautiful. Of course, if it did have the designs, it would bring it one up. Curb stomp, you guys already know that. And then the knee pads, or not the knee pads, but the actual boots would require to be up a little bit higher. But here we have it, my friends. Let me know what you guys think. Because you know Elias, dude. Actually, I get it. I'm not going to call him Elias anymore. We're just going to call him Ezekiel. You know he's going to like it, man. And if he don't like it, then that's why the WHF fame is going to step in here and let us know, right? Because I did mention. Let me know in the comments. I need to know what hair piece. I did not adhere it. It's not official. I want to get your thoughts thoughts as to where we could go with this obviously if it was glued on it would look more appropriate as to what you're seeing right here but yeah if you guys were wondering right there it is none other than chris masters i know for all those that waited until the end of the video i was gonna tell you come on man whf ain't be doing it up like that but yes the hair i like how it looks and the scale but the frizzies man i like the frizzies so again let me know in the comments which one you guys would prefer obviously i would still have to color this in into that but other than that you guys you get your all Ultimate Edition Ultimate Warrior, and here we have it, man. Now, luckily, this one has been popping up every so often, so as far as getting some fodder parts for this, shouldn't be that big of an issue. Now, let's get into The Undertaker, and I got to tell you, you guys, this right here is exactly what we were talking about. This is what we mean. Look at this. This straight up looks factory, and even the neck peg, it's really not bothering me. I mean, I know that the original head scan that was on here with the ringside exclusive, it just looked horrendous, man. It's set really high but again it's not even the neck peg itself it might just be the head scan on the way it actually hits on the body because even when we did the tights you know with the shirtless steam it was still looking really good without even changing the neck peg but yes for those that were wondering short hair taker shirtless steam it can definitely work out really good and if you want the true effects being incorporated keep in mind that the only one that we have gotten it so far it is with that jeff hardy so it's going to be a double banger if you guys want to get upgraded as to what we're doing over here now right here here is the Jeff Hardy that we wanted to bring all into pieces. Now, keep in mind, there would be some repainting required, like the hairstyle and the expression that we're going to be getting. Who knows? This might be one of the head scans, because as you guys already know, with the upcoming Ultimate Edition figures, they get usually about three head scans in all. So I do truly think that this might be reused within that. Obviously, different paint tone to give it that theme that they were given. But once we put on the sleeves right there onto the white pants, dude, even Fantasy, this is insane. So again, once the ring set or once the official UE comes in, then we'll get a little bit more. And then I'm telling you, man, we jump in guns long before. I know we already did Roman Reigns in the Ultimate Edition. So if you guys missed that, go on the channel, check it out, because we got Rollins over here. Now, he does look a little funny, man. I'm not going to disagree. <laughs> And the head scan, it does wobble around a little bit. The peg that was on here, it was significantly smaller than what the Mattel ones are actually putting out. But it's still clean, dude. Look at that green. This is actually going to stand out really good on the main roster shelf, man. I like the purple even mixed in there. I know he wasn't going for that, but I do like it. Give me your thoughts, though. We're not done, man. I'll tell you what. We might as well be done. <laughs> Because this ultimate Hulkster, it ain't working out. So the skin tone, it is way too off. And again, I did want to do it on the Storm Collectibles. But I'm telling you, once these head scans come off these figures, they ain't going back on the same way on the Mattel. You can see that it's just way too much different. I was hoping that the shirt would have kind of masked the skin tone difference. But it ain't doing anything for it. So yes, that was today's video. Horrendous. The rest, well, this one is pretty horrendous too. <laughs> But we're just trying stuff out, man. We got to throw stuff at the wall, see what sticks. If it don't, we get a little swan time bomb. This right here, you guys, this is beautiful. I truly like that. Elias, Ezekiel, however you want to call the man, we are one step closer. WHF fam, let me know. Give me your thoughts what we should do for the hair piece. Give me your thoughts of what you guys think of the figgies today. I want to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And we'll see you on the next one. Almost has got Tanker up. Oh,